Hey guys, welcome back to Expedition Extreme. This is Overland Q&A. Before I kick this off, I've actually got a question for you guys out there. I keep on going through these 12 volt little vacuum, portable vacuum cleaners, you know, just to clean out the tent and so on. And I've gone from expensive brands to El Cheapos and, well, this is not El Cheapo, this is probably a mid-range, but they keep on burning out. So, you know, I, I'm now reverting to, this is what, 60 dirhams, so like 10 or call it $18 or $15, but they keep on burning out. I go through about three of them every season. What are you guys using out there to, to vacuum the inside of the tent and I can't think of another solution. So if you've got a solution, what are you using? Comment below, let me know, and let's try it out because I'm just so sick and tired. These are so bulky, but it's a necessity. You have to have it. Camping in the desert, everything gets full of sand. So you just need to vacuum it up or even brushing it out doesn't work. So just to clean it up, I hate getting into the tent and sleeping with, you know, on a sandy bottom or the, the yeah, it just drives me insane. And it drives me insane that I've got to buy three of them every single, I don't know if it's the 12 volt power. I have no clue. So guys, comment below, let me know. Anyway, so let's get into this week's question. Odd little question though, I uh, love it. Cruiser Outdoors 78. So I take it, you got a troopy. Uh, Cruiser Outdoors, hi, might I ask, where did you get the bonnet Toyota badge, please? Right, okay, so. Um, let me cut to some footage right now so you understand what I'm talking about. Here in the Middle East, as far as I know, all Toyotas, even the Mitsubishis, the Pajeros, they come with these little bonnet badges. Now, um, personally, when I moved here 15 years ago, uh, I really didn't like it. I didn't like it. But it's grown. You know, it's, it's kind of like a Mercedes badge, I suppose. It's that, you know, you get that, it's over there. Um, uh, it's grown on me. I kind of like it right now. Now when I look at um, any of the Aussie or the South African trucks out there and it's without the little bonnet badge, it looks odd to me because it's kind of grown on me. But they come standard over here. So I don't know, perhaps you can try your local Toyota dealer in Australia um, and see if they can order it for you. Other than that, I will look over here at the local scrappies and, and get back to you over there. And if there's anybody else that would like one, let me know and let me see if I can get a whole lot of them and then just ship it all out to you guys and ours and uh, you can distribute them as you please. But some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. I hated it. I love it today. Makes great photos. Check this out. Anyway, enough waffling on. Thanks for the question, mate. Keep them coming and it's time for speedx tip of the week hey guys this week's tip of the week something odd right so you've bought yourself this awesome off-road vehicle and 90 percent of the time the seats are no good now instead of going to go and spend thousands of dollars on new seats here's a hack for you right so this is a mate of mine picked this up lee he's got a little jimny and the seats are almost as horrible as the seats in my 70 series these little windbags are there to help you move furniture inside your house. But I tell you what, take this, put this in the lining into your vehicle, extend this little hose slightly, and you've got lumbar support that you can pump up or deflate as you wish. Right, so this is a hack. Instead of spending thousands of dollars on new seats, lumbar support, quick and easy. I love it. You know what, Lee? That's so innovative, mate. Thanks for the tip.